Today we are in lovely downtown San Francisco at Google uh, and about to have an event. And the event we're about to have is unusual in the sense that it's not a classic podium stage talk. It's a conversation uh, that uh, Allison and I will help guide, but by no means will dominate. I certainly feel that we've come to a point where people at podiums on stages might not be getting us where we need to go in terms of the conversations we need to be having. And I really want to shake up the uh, participants. So the first thing is you change the conversation by where you have the conversation. And I think people let down their guard and are willing to kind of open up and think about things in a different way. So that's really the goal. I think we all can look at what's motivating the decisions we're making about what we're producing and who's being served by them. One place that we can be ethical is by being honest about what we can do and what's actionable and what's not actionable. So I think that there's some problems with the way we communicate who we are, what we do, and what our role is in the world beyond our profession. The value of a designer's point of view has become more on par with engineers because it used to be like, oh, well, design is just what it looks like. The engineers do the work to actually make it the real thing right. uh, that does something. And now it's like, oh, actually, design is figuring out why you should even make this in the first place and how. If you're designing things that have negative consequences, can you design them differently? Can you speak to more and different people as you begin to entertain what that solution might be? It's really time to step back as the design profession really needs to take responsibility for expanding its range, both in the people that it recruits and hires, and also the people that it serves. It's really exciting to, to hear that there is a need and a want for folks who are coming with a different perspective to contribute to this really problem, right, that doesn't have a solution yet, but that we're all together as a community trying to solve. I think there was someone in the group who spoke about creating like a, a code of ethics for the for the design industry as a whole, and the fact that we're such a new industry that something like that doesn't exist, but that it exists for every almost every other industry in the world. I'm currently focused on ethics and the code of ethics kind of space that other people can work within and uh, make use of and learn from so that we get the perspective and the diverse sets of backgrounds and insights and experiences and how we can all work together uh, towards a better future. Uh, we begin to think about these issues with more parties involved, which I think is what you're getting at. Uh, this idea of ethical frameworks that might be constructed anew because we've got a complexity of challenges that may not have existed before, then perhaps uh, introducing that into the, the curriculum of a university. If we're truly to innovate, then we have to really consider the ramifications of those actions. Being at Google, being able to design for the future, is a huge responsibility. It's also uh, a privilege, not just from a business lens, but from a societal lens. When you reach out and talk to these people who have different skills than you, it's humbling, it's bewildering, and it's ultimately exactly what design should be about because we are ambassadors of communication beyond the purview of our myopic bubble. But I think we're not gonna get there with podiums and stages and conferences where there's hierarchy and audience and it's, I just think that that sort of bifurcates the landscape. So I'd like to think that these kinds of conversations uh, can be catalysts not only for the next stage, but where the participants in the next stage are the catalysts in their own lives. They become then the ambassadors of their own ideas in new and, and more robust ways.